Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires 2. I am Lord Farmer here playing the Jean of Arc campaign. This is the cleansing of the Loire. Uh, we have landed. We've launched a sudden sneak surprise attack on Falstaff's army. Pretty much wiped them out of the game, hopefully. Um, now we're just kind of trying to get an economy set up. Goal is to destroy three British castles. Um, obviously, it's a goal that will take some time. And... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, I'm actually really happy the amount of people who are enjoying these videos. Uh, they're one of my favorite old games. Um, old in the sense that they came out a long time ago. Not old as in they're terrible. Um, they've been updated recently, which is always cool. Um, let's see. Uh, let's get men at arms going, just to be on the safe side. And I think... That's going to be good for now. Get this scout going. Get a little bit more vision on my walls and everything. Plus four vision range isn't a lot, but it does let me know when enemies are coming a tiny bit sooner. Then we're also going to want to grab tracking on our infantry. Uh, once we have food. We don't have any food right now. Still got two deer to hunt our food income before we really have to go into building farms. Oddly enough, there's bamboo in Japan. We will start there's bamboo from Japan and China and France. Yeah. I don't think historical accuracy is necessarily a thing anymore. Um, let's throw up two towers over here. Actually let's just do let's go all, all out and do three once we have enough. Yeah two will work. I'm going to put them a little bit closer together, though. Yeah, a little bit more useful. Uh, and we're going to move the archers into those. That should protect miners and stuff. Get those two going. Get tracking done. I know I'm wasting kind of food, but all the upgrades are pretty useful. Plus, really, I'm just delaying the amount of time until I have to get uh, farms good going full. <coughs> Excuse me, I lost my voice there for a moment. Um, let's send out this Scout Cavalry. See what's out around their base. Specifically, I need to locate two more British castles. Seeing as there's one here, I'm going to guess there's one here and over here, maybe. We'll, we'll see. Um, I should, next thing, also disable this. There we go. Uh, that is a problem. Uh, we'll make Jean 9. That way she doesn't run into any fights without protection. And you guys have nothing to do now. Okay. Exactly what we kind of want to have happen. Okay. There we go. We got enough now. We actually had enough wood. We'll get those guys working. We need another feudal age building though, so let's build a barracks. That's more useful than anything else. Keep scouting. Okay, so there's an outpost there. Based off last... Ah, I found Falstaff's villager. Falstaff's villager. Let's see if I can finish him off. Scout Cavalry is not necessarily what one would want to use to attack villagers, because villagers can almost kill it. Just happens that way. Uh, you guys apparently missed the memo there. There we go. He's the gone. That was easy. Cool. We've defeated him. Um, you literally just had one villager left. It looked like scouting, honestly, which was a bit stupid. Go up an archery range, upgrade forging. You have an idle villager. And we're going to take you up to here. And we'll just wall this off. Okay. Trying to make sure I found a British castle and almost died. That was, wow, over half of our health. So, based off those two, I'm going to assume the next one's over there. So let's avoid getting near those castles, since another attack will kill my guy. 
instead we'll focus on hiding him somewhere. Um, I think we can store five per tower, so just come on. There we go. And oh, did I mess up somehow? Or did I have I had eleven archers? Oh boy, that's frustrating. Um Oh, I had more than 11 archers. Okay. We'll stick two back in there. These towers are pretty well defended at this point. I think I'll follow the road for as long as I can here. I suspect Burgundy is going to be in the other side of the map from where Falstaff's army was. Or Burgundy might just be right there. Um, if Burgundy's there, we might be able to wipe them out. We are under attack by Burgundy, though. Lihair is in trouble. Uh, Speedy engage, pull you is okay. We did lose one of our guys. It's too bad. Ow, those things hurt. I forgot how annoying fighting mangonels are. Uh, we're gonna need some foot soldiers, aren't we? Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Let the uh, let the towers handle as much as we can. Towers are much more useful to have die than me. Every unit we lose is expensive. The problem is they have long swordsmen and we just have men at arms, so their their infantry is gonna annihilate ours. We need a good amount more uh, food still. Let's reseed the farm so I don't have to worry about that for a little bit. You guys built up. I think I'll give them more armor. That way they don't die. And uh, I guess I'll build a wall, honestly. They should be dumb enough to walk in range of the uh, thing there. Um, we don't have any allies, so it's not entirely worth building a market, but I'm going to build one anyway. And we'll upgrade Calvary. Actually, no, we won't upgrade Calvary armor. Not yet. We need food. Um, really don't know where I'm going to get better income from. Because I'm pretty sure I'm still capped at 75 units. Which is nice. Because if you go above 75 units, it pretty much just ends up degenerating into who can field um, more cheap units. By that I mean uh, skirmishers, pikemen, etc. I mean, I guess I don't technically need to beat Burgundy here, just like I didn't actually have to beat Falstaff. Um, but we do need a way to get through those castles. We also need a monastery so I don't keep my troops, I can heal them up. I'm impressed I haven't lost a knight yet, though. The knights are obviously, right now, our strongest units. Okay, there's a British one. So I'm going to guess there's a British castle north of here. The, I would say that's a British castle. Okay. So we know where three British bases are. I assume there's only three British bases. Could be wrong. Uh, let's get the cavalry armor now. The reason I built the marketplace is I can trade for stuff I need. Right now, obviously, we have nothing to trade for. Um, we still need a couple more gold miners, actually. You gonna go to BD Hill or something? No. no. Okay. Uh, let's try scouting down here further, see if we can find Burgundy's base. They're in the castle age, which i got to imagine means they have a castle. Um, found a building, found a market. Found forage bushes. Found town center? Okay, found the town center. This guy's going to die, probably, but for now he will spend his life dearly exploring their base. 
They don't have much. I could probably wipe them out with a really quick attack. Towers are a problem, though. Same thing with the Long Swordsman. And the immense amount of mangonels. Wow, okay. I need cavalry then really fast. Actually, since I don't think anyone's going to be allowed to hit the Imperial Age, castles are unconquerable. We'll do that instead. Okay. Just store as much as I can there. Looks like the Scout Cavalry is going to get away alive, which is good to see. Just finish scouting out this area. Oof. I might be able to take out that barracks from the outside with uh, Mangadels. Clearly, siege weapons are going to be very much needed. Same thing with uh, universities. Sorry about that. My voice was dying there for some reason, so I had to get something to drink. Um, let's get a couple more gold miners on the field, because obviously gold is an expensive resource. We really need husbandry for faster cavalry. But first things first, let's get a monastery and a university up. Um, strength and infantry and cavalry attack, that's always a useful one. I think this will be the easiest thing to take out. There's a huge gold mine down there we can get once we take over the area. Not that we're hurting for gold. We've got quite a bit of gold up there. Um, actually, I should... Let's get ballistics, right? Murder holes is going to be key right after that, too. Um... Let's get a monk on the field. Ah, two monks, that way they can heal each other. The healing power of one monk doesn't change too much, but having two monks increases their survivability almost exponentially. Um, let's see. There we go. There's a castle. Um, you were, I think, originally a lumberjack? No, you were a miner. Okay. Mine, then, boy, mine. You are a gold miner. Or you were the lumberjack. Okay. Yeah, see, here's where murder holes is needed. Otherwise, they're just going to be able to sit at the base of the castle endlessly attacking. However, the castle is going to make absolute mincemeat of longbowmen. Ah, actually, I did this right. I actually placed my towers in range to be able to defend the castle, assuming I didn't have murder holes, which I do. Um, let's be a little bit reckless here. If they're dumb enough to come out there, we'll kill them all. Might as well move the archers up, all of them, because the castle can garrison 20 units, which is huge for this point of the game. Um, you put a castle and you fill it with archers, it's almost untakeable. Assuming you don't have siege weapons. Uh, let's do masonry. Let's try that. Okay, now time to actually get some units. So two battering rams. One of our advantages is cavalry, but I don't know if we're going to be able to utilize that too effectively versus tap castles. Probably. I'll have to be careful. Okay, let's grab all my lumberjacks, actually. They're going to start chopping their way through my wall soon, if I'm not careful. So let's put them over here. They can chop away in peace. There will be no problem until the end of the game. What in the world are you talking about, Falstaff? Okay, I guess he's taunting us. Pretty weak taunt, but okay. 
Uh, I think I will spend a little bit of food on getting better walls. Not that I'm too concerned the castle should handle it all, but, you know, just to be on the safe side. Uh, you're four. Okay. Uh, just to be on the extremely safe side, we'll throw La Hayar in the castle. We'll pull him out if they send any battering rams. He's pretty tanky with 200 health. Shouldn't die too easily. At least we can hope that much. Um, okay, our lumber camp is up and working. It's got increased chopping ability. Our walls are now fortified. We have two battering rams. I could take out the gates, but I'm almost tempted to just go through the middle and take it out that way. Take out the mangonel. There we go. Single volley, 10 arrows. Try to survive that. Not that easy. I'm impressed the guy actually survived as long as he did. Uh, the scout cavalry is largely useless, but I'll still use him periodically. Looks like they finally hit the point where they're going to keep attacking. So, good thing I got the castle up. That was about as perfectly timed as you get. Um, do I want to use some mangonels? They can do some serious damage early on. Um, they're good against archers. Same thing with uh, scorpions. I don't know if that's worth it. I think I'd almost honestly be better with another ram. While you guys over there. I'm going to have to pretty much attack before I'm entirely ready because normally I'd build up more, but the hard cap limit on units makes this a lot harder. Probably why they do that to you. We're gonna have three rams, so what's that, 12 units? An army of rams. How quaint. Okay, that is slightly concerning. I don't know why he's talking to me. Obviously, the game tells me I need siege weapons, so. I don't remember the AI particularly taunting you, though. Uh, we have enough to build another castle. You know, I could just build a castle right next to their walls. Might try that. Let's see if this will work. Um, wait a second. Oh, I can't see what their castle stats are. One of the most annoying tricks to pull off in Age of Empires, if you do it, is you build a castle one tile or two tiles away from theirs, and you just shred them from range. Um, if we're going to build that, I should probably get Treadmill Crane. Ah, I think it's actually going to work. It's already 6% built. They don't seem to be reacting. Some AIs. Um, well, they're not really AIs, so I shouldn't call all AIs dumb, because an AI would actually be intelligent. These things are clearly not. Um, Let's do that. Um, I actually am really tempted to take a couple scorpions. I should, I should probably just build cavalry units. Get some mounted knights out there. I don't know if the knights they gave me though are... Okay, the knights they gave me are upgrading. Sometimes the units you get don't upgrade, which is really frustrating. Uh, that's just the way it goes. Everything else seems good at the moment. Cavalry is coming in. We could build some Frankish throwing axemen. Um, the problem with the throwing axemen is they suck for uh, longbowmen because the range is three. Although we do increase it, I believe, with arrows. Hello, Falstaff. Keep talking to me. You're, you're already dead, your army. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just trying to make sure I've got everything upgraded that I want upgraded at the moment. Uh, this castle should almost be done. I'm suspecting once it's done, we're going to see all the British units in this base attack. Or at least that's my hope. If they do, I'll obviously counterattack, take out that area. Okay. 
Uh, we can support two more knights. Uh, oh, well, we're actually training a lot more knights. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to support them all. We do have these two transport ships we can kill off, which I probably should, because we're never going to use them again. The castle has, in fact, been built, and the British longbowmen are, in fact, attacking it. So, that should tell me, since there's no other units pouring out of their gates, that they are, in fact, pretty much out of units. Yeah, this castle. I'll repair it once it gets lower, but for now it's safe. And then there's, yeah, British Longbow. So, we've got rams, we've got a cavalry army built up. We are almost in a position to attack. However, that will probably have to wait to another episode. So, let's just spend... Uh, actually, if we're fighting British Longbows, skirmishers wouldn't be too unhelpful. Skirmishers are a really cheap and easy way to kill off. Bowmen. Especially it's painful the British longbows first them. And one more unit. Okay, I guess that will be it for this episode. Uh, we really didn't progress that far, which was kind of expected, um, just based off where we were positioned. But we now have defenses, we now have walls, we now have rams, we have a castle that's shooting a British blacksmith until it dies. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.